Welcome to GED Math and Dirt News. In these tutorials, I will show you how to solve many of the GED math problems using the TI-30XS scientific calculator. Welcome to GED Math in 30 Days. Uh, my name is Jeremy Tinsley. I'm an adult educator for over 20 years. Um, and I started making these videos and, and created my website and authored a book to help students pass their GED math exam. Uh, visit my website, passgedmath.com. Um, check out my ebook, subscribe to my channel, uh, like, comment. Um, today, we will be discussing how to know if a function is valid, okay? The reason why I chose this topic today uh, in my Facebook chat and in my GD Math Mondays, um, I got asked this question several times. So I decided to make a short video, very simple, very easy. Um, it's almost always asked, this question is almost always on your GD Math exam. Uh, let's look at the screen here. I have an example, it said, and this comes from the GD uh, math study guide that GD provides you for free online. I would uh, recommend downloading it. It says functions and tables and graphs, okay? So uh, right now, this is in a table. I'm gonna also show you the graph. Uh, it said, which table represents a function, okay? So the one thing you wanna remember is that for every X, there is only one Y. Okay, um, in some classes, uh, they also teach you the vertical line test. Uh, if you draw a vertical line, you should only be able to pass through a function once to make it valid. But this is a table, so we can't tell, okay? But Because we don't have a graph. But what you wanna remember is for every X, there is only one Y. So let's look at these four tables. If you notice, they have the same X, but they have two different y's. This is not a function, okay? Same thing over here. You have the same value of x, but you have different y's. This is not a function. Here, you have the same x, different y's. This is not a function. So this how easy this question is. It's one of the easiest questions on your GED exam. So you wanna be prepared for this question. It's one of the easiest. You, what you want to remember, for every X, there's only one Y. Okay, so they said you want to see it in the table, and they also want to see it in the graph. So I'm just going to make up a graph really quickly. Uh, let me clear the screen. And again, I told you this video is going to be short, but it's a guarantee, almost guaranteed question on the exam. Sometimes they put it both ways, in the table and in the graph, and sometimes they also use points. So I'm going to show you all three. So first of all, let me get in the graph. Okay. Um, we we'll just use one and I'll just make some points up here. I'm just gonna place them on here. Let me get my drawing tool. Let's put it, let's put it one here, one here. One here. And one here. Okay, and maybe one here. So this is my uh, my 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 function, or, 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 or to see if it's a function, to see if it's a valid function. But every x, there's only one y. So what you want to do is again, um, for every x, so that you're looking at the horizontal axis. This is the x-axis here. Okay. So for every x, there's only one y. So if we look at uh, one, we have no y's. That's fine. When x is two. We have two different values of y. So one of these points has to be removed in order for this to be a function. So a common question they ask is which point should be removed to make this a function? So it'd be either one of these, and I have multiple choice, and it'd probably, probably be that one right there. Okay, so it'd be two, six, because remember every point is an ordered pair, ordered meaning x, First, then y, pair meaning two. So x comma y, that point would be two, six. So in order to make this a function, we would have to remove the point two comma six. Again, very simple, very easy. Now, let's just look at these points, uh, look at these points on this graph as and as all as ordered pair. So we have two, one, two, six, 
three, three, four, five, and six, seven. Again, once you put the ordered pairs in a vertical fashion like this, it's the same as a table. So there's your X, there's your Y's. We have two values of X. We have different Y's. It's not a function. One of these points must be removed. So that's how you tell if a, a function is valid uh, using a table, a graph, and ordered pairs. Uh, so you can also use the vertical line test, uh, but this will prepare you for one of the easiest questions on exam. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please check out my website, passgdmath.com. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you comment. Um, and we go more in depth on GED Math Mondays. Uh, join us for G go to go to the website passgdmath.com, register, and you'll be able to have a free session. It's no cost to answer some of the most commonly missed GED questions and to go over any questions you may have. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. I'll see you soon. Thank you.